A very good morning, Om Shanti, to all of your listeners. Welcome back to your three hundred eighteen day of a quality blessing where God is trying to tell us, or maybe let's say He is giving us the last warning, in simple terms, before the world comes to its own self destruction or what we call it as apocalypse or the kiamat, as per the Muslim religion or mahakal, as per the Hindu religion or let's say the Adi Sanatan religion. So what is Mahakal? Mahakal means there's a temple known as Mahakal in Darjeeling and in other places. Kal means death. Mahakal means great death. Where just just not ten, fifteen, twenty people or one million or two million people they leave their body, souls leave the body, but it's going to be billions of souls who are going to leave the leave the body at the end of days. So what does Baba have to say? Let's see. Baba says, "May you be equal, complete, and perfect. May you be equal, equal to whom? God the Father, because we call him the Father. So the child has to be as great as the Father, right? Have all the divine qualities as the Father. So that divine qualities makes us deities. So God says, in the golden age or in heaven on earth, they were deities who's to rule, whom the so-called Hindu religious people they have made their." Different idols and they are praying to them. They call them Lakshmi Narayan. They call them Radhe, or they call them Shri Krishna, or they call them Ram Sita. They were divine beings, and there was just not four, five of them. There were millions of them. So those divine beings are the ones who get to enter the gates of heaven on earth, not up there. Up there is the supreme abode for our souls to reside. This is where the heaven and the hell action, or the act, or the drama takes place. So God is saying. May you be equal, complete, and perfect by merging the ashes of your old sanskars. Sanskars means old impure habits, or can be good habits also. But we are talking about our old impure habits into the ocean of your complete and perfect stage. Complete and perfect stage. So let's get into the explanation. In order to become complete and perfect, complete means just like God is complete. Does he have ego? No. Does he feel jealous of somebody? No. Does he have any kind of greed? Does he have any any wants and desires? No. So God says, you also, even though you are in a body, you have to eat, you have to sleep, you have to buy, you have to earn. Still, you can be just like me, complete, without any desires, without any greed, without any ego, without any jealousy, without any kind of other negativity within you, lust or anger or anything else. So God says, you become then complete and perfect like me. That's how you are my child, and that's why you're calling me mother, father. So God says, in order to become complete and perfect and equal to the Father, destroy your weaknesses and defects before the destruction of the world. Now this is a warning. God says, destruction of the world. We have been seeing for the past couple of maybe ten years or fifteen years, if I can recall, that we have been seeing movies like the End of Days or the Apocalypse Time, or people are making movies in the in terms of they're like catching up those signals from the world, from the atmosphere of the world, that yes, something is going to happen. First world war took place. Second world war took place, and now the world is getting more and more peaceless. Even though technology is coming, the technology is not giving you any peace and happiness and harmony amongst countries or amongst the religions within themselves. So religions are also fighting within themselves. There has been fractions within religions. Christianity is fractionated. Uh, you have a Muslim uh, religion which is fractionated. Buddhism is fractionated. You have Sikh religion, which is getting fractionated, and Islamic religion, and many other religions are getting fractionated. So God is saying that is a sign of the end of days or the complete Mahakal. So God says before that time happens, it's not going to be hundred years, two hundred years from here. It is going to be just couple of ten, fifteen, twenty years within which the great destruction and the establishment of heaven on earth has to take place. So we can see the signs of it already around us. If you have the third eye open, you can see beyond these physical eyes. Because these physical eyes keep us in greed and ego, and it closes our third eye. The greed, the ego, the jealousy which we feel while looking at things around through these senses doesn't let us see the real act which is happening in the whole world. We can't have that kind of complete vision of the whole world if we are into lust and greed and ego and jealousy. So God says, open your third eye and become complete and become pure. Then Baba says. Make yourself bright. So the destruction of the world. Make yourself so bright that no name or trace of any confusion remains. When the confusion remains, confusion remains. If you got vices within us, if you got different 
vices within us that's the time when we can't see through things we don't know what is the right decision we don't know what is the right feeling to have or how to feel about somebody or how to act in a situation so that confusion remains because of vices but when we become complete and just like a father purified while living in this world while uh, earning while doing a business while doing a work god says then you can see things through and there won't be any confusion then baba says when you take a new birth is giving an example we come back in uh, we believe in the rebirth so in the previous birth we leave a body we were an elderly person we have to if you are not complete or pure in the previous birth obviously we have not gone back up if we have lust greed ego jealousy anger in our previous birth then we have to be given another chance by god in this birth to again purify ourselves but if in this birth also we don't purify ourselves then the destruction or the end of days will help us to be removed from a body by force or second choice is that we meditate and become so pure that when the destruction is happening we can easily leave the body with our own wish that means i the soul you the soul detach yourself from this physical body that's what this knowledge is all about so when when you take a new birth everything of your previous life is forgotten right in the same way burn the old things and old sanskars old things old habits old thought patterns uh, old habits have to be burned and merge those ashes into the ocean of your complete and perfect stage god is an ocean so we have to give away all the muck which we have been carrying in us to god the father he'll absorb just like a blotting paper absorbs the ink when it falls onto it removes the ink similarly we have all the vices within us which we have to give to god and then god the ocean will make us complete and perfect you will then be said to be equal and complete and perfect equal to god the father we can call ourselves his child only when we are pure not just we call him god the father and we have lust anger greed ego jealousy hatred and many vices within us then we are not his children so this is what god wants us to understand and how do we become his pure child that you can come and learn at brahma kumari's godly spiritual university for free in 150 countries you might go through www.brahmakumaris.org if you are an international listener and .com if you are an indian listener and find out the place next to you the center the spiritual university where you can go and learn this for free have a blessed day om shanti